ladies and gentlemen. Fred Stella is an accomplished lecturer on many aspects of Hinduism. He's uniquely qualified to explain the dharma to those in Abrahamic traditions in a most understandable way. Fred is ordained as a Pracharak outreach minister by his local temple and he services as a member of the National Leadership Council of the Hindu American Foundation, Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, addressed by Mr. Fred Stellaji from the Hindu American Foundation. Namaste and hello, and please take my greatest gratitude for just a wonderful time here at Kana. Three weeks ago, I didn't know this place existed. I promise you, many in America will know that it exists upon my return. I want to mention a couple of things. First of all, yes, it's true that I am representing the Hindu American Foundation. I'm also representing the West Michigan Hindu Temple and also the Kaufman Interfaith Institute. And I want to thank a number of people here, really, all of the people who have been so kind to me, who have shown me around. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dadji. I spent some time with him uh, earlier this week. I want to also thank Madhav Rediji, my benefactor and the person who is most responsible for me being here, and Ananya Rao. She's had the inauspicious duty of uh, finding me when I wander off and get lost, which I am prone to do. She's been just uh, wonderful at that. So I thought that I would offer you a, a brief profile of Hindu Dharma in the United States right now. I'm not sure if you are aware of a couple of statistics. Are you aware that of all of the religions in the United States, the most educated are the Hindus? And we only make up, what, less than 2% perhaps in income Hindus are number two, the second most earning religious group in America are the Hindus. Now, keep in mind that having great education and great income is not the be all end all of a religion. If I was going to go to the religion store to find a new religion, if I didn't have one in the first place, and a salesman said, well, we can offer you, we're having a special on Hinduism today, and they are the uh, most educated and second highest earners, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that as being the main motivation for me uh, wanting to become a Hindu. But it's not nothing. It's not nothing that they excel in so many areas, in industry and commerce, uh, education, uh, IT, just a wide, and now uh, in the political arena as well. You see Hindus uh, dominating a number of, of fields in the United States. But here's something, you see, one of the reasons that the Hindus in America are highly educated and high earners is because the people who migrate from India tend to be already quite well educated, already involved in professions. So when you look at the other immigrants who come in, who come in with nothing, people who come in from Mexico or Central America or Africa, you, you can't compare them. We understand this. However, I've worked with the Bhutanese refugees. I think many of you are aware that the Bhutanese uh, uh, people of Nepali uh, origin, who are Hindu, were expelled, 100,000 of them were expelled from the country of Bhutan. They lived for many years in refugee camps in Nepal. Finally, they were resettled in other countries. And America took a great number of them. These people, 20, 
15 years ago came with nothing like other people, and today they thrive. They are now one of the highest earning and best educated of all of the refugees who've ever come into the United States. So there's something about the Dharma that breeds success. Now, the picture in America with Hindus today isn't all rosy. For one thing, uh, we are challenged by both the people on the extreme right of the political and social spectrum with white Christian nationalism, and we are challenged by the extreme left, the Marxist-leaning uh, people, particularly on college campuses. And we at the Hindu American Foundation are working tirelessly to make sure that the Hindu American uh, is able to practice Hindu Dharma, is able to integrate into the greater society with no fear, with no trepidation. We work in the political arena. We are nonpartisan. We speak to people of all parties, and we advocate for legislation that it, we feel is beneficial for people of Hindu Americans and, and other uh, immigrant communities as well. We work in the field of interfaith. We try to find common ground wherever we can and work towards a better America, particularly with those, uh, those religions that have a high number of immigrants, but, but others as well. We work in interfaith, we try to find common ground, and we seek to maintain the closest bonds with those people who are willing to sit down and talk with us, willing to advocate for us, willing to be our friends. We also work in the field of education where textbooks are grossly, grossly misrepresenting Hindu Dharma. You would not believe some of the things that are written about Hinduism. Uh, one of the reasons that the other religions uh, have uh, not this problem at the moment is because they came to the table quite early. Hindus are coming quite late. And so we're still fighting the battle of making sure that uh, textbooks, especially for the really young people, people uh, who are like 11, 12 years old, we're trying to make sure that, that they are not bullied because of the information that is given to them. And we also work with those people who are attempting to affect social change, affect the environment, affect social justice. So we are quite busy at the Hindu American Foundation. And I want you to know that the people at HAF all feel, whether they are of Indian origin or like myself, someone who came a little late, as you might guess with a name like Fred, I don't have an Indian background, I'm Italian-American, and I want to give a shout out to all of the non-Indians who are here who are embracing the Dharma. We found something special. So I just want to leave you with the knowledge that the people who have left the shores of India, who have started families in the United States and other places in North America. We keep India in our hearts. This is our spiritual home if it's not our legal home. So namaste, God bless. Thank you very much, sir.